Hey, welcome back to Dark Isles Gaming, where today I'm on the sticks. Yeah, we're switching it up, and I'm totally okay with that, because plural. everyone knows that Breath of the Wild is the best build a game. <laughs> and this one is Randy's favorite, as we already, I think, referenced probably the first episode of this playthrough. Yeah, I, I, I would agree that, yes... This is my favorite, but I would say that Breath of the Wild is the best one. I've probably spent more time on that one, for sure. I'm, I'm glad we we come to a consensus. Speaking of Zelda this, games... This, uh, is, this is a Zelda Prime. We'll call it that. This is Zelda Prime. And uh, Breath of the Wild is like Zelda Omega. We'll say, we'll say Breath of the Wild <laughs> could not have existed without this game. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Or, you know, Skyward Sword or whatever. Well, I think Breath of the Wild could have existed without Skyward Sword. <laughs> but, I, so, speaking of that, that's what I was getting at. I picked it up for the Switch. It was just re released recently. Um, oh, that's there's, right, a, yeah. there's a bunch of improvements, apparently. I never played Skyward Sword. I, uh, I played oh, Twilight Princess, and that was one of the few Zelda games I finished. I think I mentioned that during one of these playthroughs, or maybe I don't remember if we were recording or not. But yeah, anyway. Oh, who knows? I was uh, Twilight Princess was one of the few that I finished, other than Breath of the Wild. I think that was it. I've gotten oh, tons of Zelda games that I've played, oh, and that I oh, I will get right before the end. It's not even the like the ending is difficult. It's just I never get around to finishing them for whatever reason. Um, hmm. Or I'll like put it down and play something else because it was released or for whatever reason and then I'll forget oh, fuck. what I was doing or what you know where I was going and then it always seemed so difficult to get back into which funny enough I actually had the same thing happen with Breath of the Wild I put it down to play who knows what came out Honestly, probably Rocket League. I just put way too much time into Rocket League, but <laughs> regardless, it was uh, it had been a few months, and then when I went back, I I was on like the last um, what's it called? Not they're not dungeons. Oh, whatever they uh, divine what beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was on the last divine beast, and. I was like, I had to relearn the controls and, but I was like, I, I made it, I made the effort to finish it. And yeah, was, I, I love playing through it, but I just never, I have a bad habit of not finishing Zelda games. So, well, this one's pretty short. So as long as we quit sucking, we may actually finish this one. Well, Randy, I don't know if you've seen our other playthroughs, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> 15 episodes, right? That, that's the. <laughs> Other than DKC2 for some yeah. reason. Yeah, well, yeah. That's going to be like 40. I was going to say, that's, yeah. I don't know how many we've recorded now, but I think we're already past I it. think we're at 10. Oh, really? No. Yeah, we're we're at 10, but we're not on pace to finish it in 15, that's for sure. I was going to say, I, I don't remember. I think the and last time we looked it up, we were a little over halfway. We were like barely halfway, and then the levels just keep taking us longer and longer to get through yeah i uh never played twilight princess i like i enjoyed a lot i mean it's it gets its uh oh motherfucker how am i supposed to do that i guess i don't know what the general consensus uh, is on it but i oh remember God, when it I came out it was kind of <laughs> uh, uh, divisive give it to me mine you you got a heart yes. on <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that's probably a shirt I bet that's a Zelda shirt. Why? Why does Link? Mm -hmm. uh, I was gonna troll and I was gonna piss everyone off. I was gonna say, why does Zelda have pink hair? But no, I'm just kidding. Why does I know who Link? Is. Why does Link have like purple pink hair in this game? Uh, because it was like 1991, and they were being hip. I don't know. Mm. That's probably the easy answer. What's the? Oh, there it is. The run button. Oh shit, shimmy. Oh, I like that. Oh, shimmy. That guy reminds me of a enemy on God, what was it? I think Dragon Warrior 3. Hmm. 
one of AKA like a dragon quest oh yeah yeah it, yeah didn't another one of those just come out or am i crazy um so dragon quest yeah dragon quest um 11 i want to oh, say wow. came out on the switch uh -huh. um, what up bro taking all your shit mine 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 Ooh, I will. Peace. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Dragon Quest XI. Uh, or was it twelve? Oh shit, it might be twelve. Because I know there was like a remake recently. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Like a three D, just sort of. Daughter's waking up. I'm on call. Oh shit. I'm on call, and my daughter's crying. Oh no! Need to pause it. Is she gonna go back to sleep? Find out on the next exciting. You what? I don't know. Oh, there's that bunny again. I I don't know. The bunny, that rabbit that was hopping out there. What the? Uh, what is the mission objective what? right now? What's going on here? Where are you going? Uh, I'm going this way. I'm going to go get some, some stuff and things. I see that. I think it's this way. See, this just makes me want to play Pokemon, to be honest. Ooh. Really? Yeah. Bomb it. Hey, now you're going to get put on a list. Oh. Timothy McVeigh. And now I'm aging myself. What? Timothy McVeigh? You don't remember Timothy McVeigh? Shit. Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, not offhand, no. The uh, Oklahoma Damn City it. bomber. Back in like 97 or whatever it was. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh shit. Oh, he just came. <laughs> like one of those fish. Oh, did my duty. And then they just die. Oh, yeah. That'd be a... Man, that'd be a hell of a life. You just... Get old enough to... Ejaculate yourself to death. That's, that's a way to go, man. You don't have to worry about paying taxes. Uh, oh, hello, buddy. What up? I'm gonna take your shit, too. Gotcha, gotcha, Why's gotcha. This, what, what's this Team Rocket character doing here? <laughs> you can earn a lot of... It's the secret of my success, which you've just stolen, so have fun with it, I guess. <laughs> oh, That's Link. That's it, right? Yeah. That's like the game rewarding you for looking under rocks. Oh, look under every rock, you never know. What? Uh, 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 okay, do you, real quick, do you see what I see? A mouth? And a eyes? Is that what sure. you were looking okay. at? <laughs> nope, but that'll work. <laughs> what, what did you see? Just the way that, this is the, when you blow a hole in the wall, the hole has a look to it. All right, oh, okay. Out here. I just saw all three Huzzah! holes that were... In there and well you got a pocket rocket? What is that? Found the ice rod. It's chill magic blast the air. But watch your magic meter. So I got this thing now. What do you freeze things or what? Yeah. Can I go that way? I can't go that way. It's one of those things it's like you don't need this for the game. But sometimes it helps with some stuff. See right there, it looks like uh yeah, I was singling this one out. Oh, it looks like a booty hole. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Hello. <laughs> oh, Random booty hole has there. you got you got the hemorrhoids on your booty <laughs> hole. <laughs> yeah. It's, you gotta watch out. Ow! Oh, you gotta watch out for them. Oh, Ain't your hemorrhoid just crap. pops. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. That's not good. 
Yeah, man. Give me, die. Pop, Give me life. An exploding hemorrhoid would uh, that would hurt. I would want to die too. Oh, that does sound really painful. Yeah. Look, those those little octopuses look like floating hemorrhoid. Ow. Oh, your hemorrhoid just came. <laughs> hey, if you've uh, ever had hemorrhoids, leave it in the comment. <laughs> what do you? What do, do they give? If you if you do get hemorrhoids, do they give you like? An ointment or like pills or what do you or do they give you a needle like <laughs> yeah leave it in the comments <laughs> <laughs> i'm not actually sure on that one i would google oh, it but then a bitch. i would google it but then my wife would like look at my search history and she'd be like you need to tell me something do you have hemorrhoids oh <laughs> shit i'm gonna kill these guys oh i can okay Oh, I didn't tell oh. you, Randy. I, yeah, uh... Had another I, uh, cab? <laughs> I mean, the last <laughs> one was a surprise, so who knows? Maybe. Um, uh, it wasn't a surprise. Like, did, did you ever see that episode of... I forget what it was, but there's, like... There's been ladies that didn't know they were even pregnant. Oh, and shit. And they go to the bathroom and they just shit out a kid. <laughs> like, literally. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's a thing. That's been a thing that has happened. That's fucked up. Yeah, no, I know. It's, like, how do you get to that point? But apparently there's some that, like, didn't... Sh there's ladies that, like, didn't show God whatsoever. Damn it. Just fucking walked right into that. Mm. Sorry. But, go ahead. Hey, no, you're fine. Um, oh, we're Miro's house. All right. Yeah. Looks just like it. Um... No toilet. I uh, I pre-ordered uh, the. I got in line for the new Nintendo Switch OLED model. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot that was yeah. a thing. I uh, I was one I was of the really lucky confused because they I were was really confused. The websites kept crashing, and then I ended up. I got it <laughs> on uh, Best Buy. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I want to go up. Nice. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Oh shit! Oh shit! Which is, it's kind of funny because I don't really, I really hardly never play in uh, portable mode. Yeah. But, eh. And what's even funnier is, of all people, I'm probably the one that needs to get the OLED model the least. Because, you know, it's white and the dock is white. I actually, um, yeah. I got my Switch. I got it, well, my Aha. second Switch. I uh, had colorwear custom paint it and i got a i got a set of black joy cons and i got a like glossy black and i got a set of glossy white and a dock white and so it's like it already looks like i have the new switch oh yeah yeah i was uh when i first saw it i was like oh shit they finally put out like an actual like switch pro thing and then i got to look in and i was it's like not really pro no that's not what this is yeah and then i was like i hadn't watched anything about it or anything so I was just like looking at what it is and they're like, yeah, it's got a bigger, better screen on it. We just kind of we did the thing <laughs> people wanted where they kind of just got rid of the bezels. And uh, so I was like, OK, so it, at first I, had, I didn't know the price. So I was like, OK, so this is like they're just kind of looking at it and going, hey, you know what? Technology gets cheaper every year. We can improve some things and keep selling it. But then it was a higher price. And I was like, oh. So did they do other stuff? And it was like, no, it's it, other than the dock is different, like has a port on. Like we were just talking about Ethernet shit. Because I got the because I got I literally just bought the adapter like the yeah. week be, the week before they announced the switch, the switch OLED. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I ordered an adapter on Amazon because it was I, I got it for cheap. I only, I only paid like 12 bucks for it. But, yeah, um, so I was like, so, I mean, there's some changes. It's not just, you know. But yeah, I was a little confused there for a minute. Um, Bloomberg fucked up because they kept talking about, oh, it's going to be a Switch Pro. And and <laughs> then Nintendo comes out and it's like, no. And then they called them out. Did you see that they called Bloomberg out? No, I didn't. They literally like posted on their uh, Twitter page or whatever. They're like, oh, shit. They're like, yeah, Bloomberg incorrect. Well, I think what really pissed them off was Bloomberg a week after they had announced it. Bloomberg came out and was like, 
because Bloomberg looked like fools because they kept saying, oh, it's going to have 4K and they said all this, stuff, you know, this stuff and they were like, no, it's for sure coming out. So then when Nintendo announced it, but all the specs were off from what Bloomberg had said, they're like, this isn't the Switch Pro you guys were talking about. So Bloomberg came out and said, they wrote an article saying that the total cost of the improvements for what they added, as in the screen, they said the screen was like six bucks and then two dollars for the thing and two dollars for whatever other thing. Mm -hmm. So they said this this Switch OLED model costs 10 more dollars to make and they're charging 50 more dollars for it. Mm -hmm. And Nintendo literally came out and was like, yeah, Bloomberg reported that this is that and it is completely incorrect and they're making bogus. But like they just straight called them out and everyone was making videos about how Nintendo's like sick of Bloomberg shit because that's what one of the reasons everyone gets overhyped is, sure. you know, when Bloomberg reported it, I remember all the gaming channels like Bonwave and RGT and everyone was like, yeah, no, we trust Bloomberg. This is like a credible source. And when it came out to be wrong, then I remember specifically RGT was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm done with rumors. Like, I'm not going to trust anyone, anything anyone says, unless it's Nintendo that comes out and says it. And then Nintendo came out and they were like, yeah, no, fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I was thinking. That's why at first I was like, so this is just another revision. Because, you know, they did that revision like the a year battery. or two ago was just yeah. the battery and it wasn't even the battery that they improved it was the basically they just kind of changed the clocking of the processor to yeah. make it more efficient <clears throat> so uh could you imagine firing an arrow at somebody and they fucking block it with a boomerang i mean <laughs> i would take my ball and go home at that point because i'd be like i ain't yeah. messing with that bad uh, you bought a bro and you bought a bow and arrow to a fucking boomerang fight dude <laughs> oh god well Look you could be bitch. like that guy i just saw a video <laughs> of uh, there was these two men trying to break into a house like at two in the morning they were literally tr kicking this door down and um and then they both had a gun out and then one of the guys when he went up to kick shot himself mm -hmm. in the thigh on accident <laughs> oh no <laughs> yeah. I saw that video yesterday. It was kind of hilarious. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh... Ah, um, I, I don't know. Because I, like, just recently started using that Switch Lite. Yeah. So they put this thing out, and I was like, yeah... I'm kind of really digging this, like, having this D-pad here. Like, I was playing Octopath Traveler I was talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. And that's the only game that I know of that I've played where... Oh, shit. Oh, God. What are you? Uh, hmm. Down? I don't want to go... I think I want to go down. Um, Where I actually switch between the joystick and the D-pad. Like, whenever I'm doing this type of stuff, going through the world, it's like yeah. joystick. And then as soon as I'm in battle when you're or menus, menus or whatever, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I don't think I do that with any other game. It's pretty much one or the other. And I don't know exactly why that is. I think it's just because, like, it's a shit. It's like a Fox-style 2D game where it's, like, 2D, but you're moving through a 3D world. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love the art style of Octopath Traveler. It's, it's probably my favorite turn-based RPG since... Golden oh Sun. Oh, those are good too. Shit, shit. Yeah. Oh god. They uh, now that they ported the uh, Yeah. Now that they're porting Advance Wars, I want Golden shit. Sun more than ever. Cuz I'm like there's hope. Yeah, that'd be dope cuz I never played the second one. Uh, what I mean, up? so not, I'm assuming you did, definitely didn't play the third one. No, no, just the first. Oh, look at this. Look at his eyes. <laughs> Dude, this looks like that Super Mario World. Uh, there's some enemy in Super Mario World that kind of looks like that. <laughs> the blue fish thing with the big mouth. <laughs> He's like, oh, what do you want, little man? Oh, don't be mean, bro. You have something to ask me? Uh, yeah, what wow. happened to your eye? 
Straight to the point. Um, I want the flippers. Yeah, just give me the things. Oh, I don't just give flippers. 500 rupees? Bro, you think I got 500 rupees to just throw away? You, you think I got, like, just go to space money? All right, here you go. Uh, yeah, what's up with all these dudes wanting to go to space all of a sudden? Like... It was, no one said anything, and then all of a sudden Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, and then the other fucking guy, who no one knows his name. I don't know. I saw something where it was like, uh, Jeff Bezos goes to space for five minutes so Amazon employees can take a bathroom break. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got anyone, now, it was, I a, it was a test. Anyone that actually took the break got fired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he came back on his way back down. He didn't even fucking hit the ground yet. He was already on the radio. Like, so how many? <laughs> he calls up some some fucking warehouse in Mississippi. And he's like, Cindy, I need to talk to Cindy. Cindy, <laughs> I uh, heard you uh, took a bathroom break while I was up in space. Yeah, like, what the fuck you doing, yeah. woman? <laughs> like, I also uh, I also saw you use the good toilet paper. That's for a uh, guest. We can't. Cindy. That's for. That's for Bezos only. It's for when I visit. What, what? Actually, you know he's out as Amazon. Like, he's like just. He's not doing the day to day stuff. Like he resigned. Yeah, it's one of those like, on the board but not the boss kind of things or whatever. Right. I've made my money. Y'all can suck it. <laughs> It's absolutely gross how much money that dude made. Yeah. What did they yeah, say? It's like it's like two thousand seven hundred and something dollars a second or something. It's yeah, it's insane. <laughs> it's like more in a week than most people make in a year. Yeah. It's. <laughs> So now we got flippers. Now we can swim in the deep water. Ah, okay. Bloop, 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 bloop. And into this waterfall. Don't go Ooh. chasing them. Oh, that's this waterfall. Ooh, quick oil spill. <laughs> what? Yeah, okay. So wasn't there a thing recently where there was like the water was on fire somewhere? Yeah, Gulf of Mexico. Um... There's a oil company that, uh, yeah, there was basically a, uh, there were some pipelines in the Gulf of Mexico that, uh, or a, whatever, I forget specifically what it was, but it was owned by the, by Pemex, the Mexican, uh, petroleum company. And, uh, it's actually government run now. The, the government took it over a few years ago and, uh, started controlling oh, and distributing it itself. I'm like, that would never fly here in the States. They'd bitch about socialism and this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, something failed, and it was just literally just, it was, as it leaked, it was just in flames. So, you see this, you know, what? the middle of nowhere ocean, well, golf, whatever, but it, for all intents and purposes, it looks like the ocean. And... Yeah. Hey, did you drop um, this? Yes, I did. And there's these, <gasps> there's like six or seven barges around it, just spraying it down with water. And I'm like, that looks fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the middle of the ocean, spraying fucking water up at a at a giant fireball in the ocean. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, like, I don't know how that happens, but I'm glad smarter people than I figured it out. Sounds like to a cover, a cover to an album, right? Yeah, where they're gonna like be how singing about how they like the water's on fire. <laughs> well, like the freaking Rage Against the Machine used the actual image of the guy that lit himself on fire, the monk. Oh yeah, Quan Duck. Yeah, Quan Duck. So anyway, I uh, got the magic boomerang and the fire shield. You're just doing work. I'm not going to know what doing to do when work. I take over next episode. Like, I'm like, what's all this shit? 
<laughs> Why is my shield bigger and kind of red Why? now? Randy's a hoarder. Oh. We need to get him on Shit. one of those shows on TLC. No, damn it, I don't want to... Mm. All right, whatever. Yo, I don't think you that just one throw the here. bow away? What the... F yeah, it doesn't work here, but... Yo, is that Zelda? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yo, Zelda, you got tall. Yeah, I dropped it. Just fucking give it back. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I got my shit back. See, now the boomerang goes further across the screen. Oh, and it's red. Yeah, and sparkly. It's a it's a twilight boomerang. Uh, it's funny you mention that because apparently those movies just got put on Netflix because my wife was watching them. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was shit. like, man, oh, I wish I I I could have gone down the hole. living just not watching these ever again because I'd forgotten that they were a thing. Yeah, I uh, you know how like on Facebook when you click on a video, and. Can I pick this up? I don't think we can pick this up yet. No, I can't. Okay. Oh, so this is cool. I forgot about this. Um, and you watch a video on Facebook. If you like, just keep scrolling. You're not actually on your timeline anymore. You're now scrolling through videos. Right. Instagram so, does that shit too. Yeah. So randomly, not too long ago, it was like a big fight scene from one of the Twilights. Uh. I vaguely remember some of the first movie, but I've not seen the others. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where or when this takes. It was, it was whatever the fight is where it's like this big battle, but it doesn't actually happen. It's just somebody's prediction of the future or something. She keeps having weird dreams and shit, too. Yeah. Or so, is it that bitch with short hair that was like the prophecy lady? And she's like, that ah. one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's like they all show up to fight, and then she's like, if we do this, a bunch of people are going to die, and then they don't fight or something. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So it was it was that fight scene and I watched this and it was it's got to be one of the later films, but I started to share it to Facebook and then just fucking lay into it as to why it looks so <laughs> like bad because uh, uh, just I think we talked just recently about how I'd picked up the Harry Potter books as audiobooks and was listening to them. Yeah, because I had like eight credits to use or whatever. And I was like, well, I don't mm -hmm. know what else to get. So I just went and got like the seven books. Mm -hmm. uh, when I did that, that put me down the, the the Harry Potter rabbit hole. So when I was like off work a few times this month, I uh, went through and watched the movies again. Because it's like, I haven't seen these movies in forever. And since I'm listening to the books, I'll watch the movies. That way, the books Get will more be like, the oh, context yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Like this is, you know, I forgot this was different and I forgot, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so those movies were coming out. Like the later Harry Potter films were coming out around the same time as these Twilight films. And I started to type up this big post as to like comparing the end of like the big battle at Hogwarts stuff and why that looks so gritty and real and why this fight scene in the snow with these vampires and dogs just does not looks like dog shit <laughs> it's just this it was so and i started to type it up and i thought you know what i know i've got a handful of facebook friends that like really love these movies and all that's going to do is piss them off <laughs> they're not going to look at it like i'm looking at it they're just going to look at it those people from being able to see it that's what i do if oh i know <laughs> if i post something that i know is going to piss off a specific person or going to make them think i'm talking about them even if i'm not like i'll block it from them being able to see it and just show everyone else i don't even care <laughs> or if I, I'll do the opposite thing, I get real passive aggressive. If I'm posting something that's specifically about someone, sometimes I will block everyone else from seeing it except for that person. <laughs> nice. I've done that before. Um, now, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, I kept pissing my wife off because she was sitting there watching them. And... I was sitting there with her, but like I was not really watching them. I was doing my own thing, whatever it was. It didn't really matter. And there was I would I would all I would do. I would interject when I would see something ridiculous. So there was the scene where the prophecy lady of short hair was like, like, no, you can't get whatever you're going to you're going to die. You're going to like I can't see into your future like it just I can't only see it up so far. Because he right. was talking about, oh, he's like, I'm not going to be able to control myself with you and blah, blah, blah. And 
because her blood was real strong and made them all go crazy. I was like, yo, when this bitch is on her period, she's done, though. <laughs> like, they're all going to come by. <laughs> and my wife was so pissed off because they kept saying stuff like that. And the other thing that annoyed me about him, um, and this is not the first movie to be guilty of this, but the the Jacob guy, the Mexican kid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know he's not Mexican, but um, the in the first movie, guy. in the first movie, he's so much shorter than Edward. And then mm -hmm. by the third movie, he's like twice the height of Edward. It's super awkward because they're supposed to be taking place like one right after the other. <laughs> like, there's not really any time between them, really. And they got him when he was young enough before he was in a major growth spurt. Oh, I was going to say, did they start putting him in some, like, yeah. like taller shoes or something? No, no, no. It was just he got older, old enough. Like, they were... Th I don't even think Edward was that much older than this Jacob kid, but it was enough that oh, shit. Jacob still had a couple of growth spurts, and he just... <laughs> You just completely trounced it was just funny because they're supposed like i said they're supposed to take place within a couple months of each other it's like <laughs> yo this dude this dude's fucking balls dropped and he's like yo i'm a fucking wolf when the last movie he's like hey, i'm better I, I, I want you so much but you want these vampires <laughs> <laughs> re uh after watching the rewatching the the hp films i finally went and watched the fantastic beast movies because i'd never seen them uh -huh. and uh never seen them before so i just like got online and watched them and i had some questions right so i go online i go to youtube and i start watching some stuff and to get, damn it i keep going out the door uh to get some answers and i'm like okay so i know <laughs> Vaguely, there's supposed to be five of these eventually. Like, if they don't somehow oh, fuck oh, it up. Oh, the Fantastic Beast movies? Yeah, I think they've said there's going to be five of them. Oh, God. So, I'm like, okay, that's cool. There's two now, and I'm looking at them, watching the movie, and they take place, I think they're like a year apart or something, but they start in like 1926. So I'm like, okay, right. that's cool. But then I understand, you know, to my understanding, they're supposed to end with the big Dumbledore Grindelwald fight, which is in 45. So I'm like, OK, so that's that, you know, the 19 year span to, to, you know, you got five films, you can cover 19 years. Sure. I mean, if right. you take long enough making them, the actors will get older and blah, blah, blah. It's, it's cool. But then the second film takes place like. I don't even know. It might even be the same year or it's like six months or something after the first one. And I'm like, you're already two movies in and it's not even 1930 yet. What are you doing? It might be a thing where the last one just kind of fast forwards to that big fight. Yeah, like they're going to have to do something because they got a fucking they got a lot of time to cover. They'll just do that bullshit. The fucking Hobbit. Did. They'll just like add more movies. They'll be like, Yo, here, there's <laughs> yeah. going to be 10 of these now. Yeah, yeah. We were gonna we were gonna make two, but we got enough footage. Fuck it, we're getting three. I want money. <laughs> I uh I watched the first one in theaters. I didn't even bother watching the second one. I don't know. I wasn't crazy about it. I didn't like the main actor. Of the Fantastic Beast? Yeah, he didn't do it for me. He didn't rustle my jimmies. Let me do this out here. Um I think I enjoyed the second one. It was more confusing, which is one of the reasons I was looking stuff up because it was like, oh, I don't know. Don't catch the bee. Let the, damn it. No, get out of here, bee. You're cool, but I don't want you. Um, I think I enjoyed the second one more just because it has Grindelwald in it doing stuff. As like a bad guy. But uh, it was is was Johnny Depp in the second one? Yeah, yeah. Like at the end of the first one, they catch him and he was impersonating somebody, or was pretending to be somebody else. And then at the end of the first one, they've got him caught or whatever. So the second one kind of starts yeah. with him breaking out. Is he going to be in the next ones, or did he get like canceled because of that? No, they, crazy uh, lady of his. 
when all that shit went down, they canned him from those. They hired uh, that Mads Mik Mikkelsen guy. Mik Mikkel Mikkel however you say that shit. The guy that was know. Hannibal and that Hannibal show. You've seen him yeah, in a bunch I of movies. I haven't and seen that either. He's like a stereotypical bad guy in a bunch of movies. His eyes are always messed up for some reason. <laughs> in like every movie. Yeah. He's <clears throat> but yeah, they got that guy to play to play Grindelwald now because they wasn't that all like an error. Like they found out later that Johnny Depp was in the right, and they were all like, "Oh, too bad, we already." I uh, I think he won some court case eventually. Against what's her? What's her name? Yeah. So like, she's still gonna be in the Aquaman movies, I think. Um, yeah. Which is why when they did the the some of the add on shoots for the Snyder Cut, she's in those. Um, I'm not mad. She's hot. <laughs> but I know she's crazy, but yeah. Sometimes crazy uh, has a price to pay. She had some movie come out that was one of those like straight to Netflix things that just fucking bombed because everybody just hates her now. Yeah. But they did replace him in Fantastic Beasts. They'd already they'd already hired somebody. Right. So I think I think that's a done deal. They kind of jumped on that real quick. Um. I don't think they've done that for like the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, though, because I think that's kind of like his thing, you know, like when he stops doing it, stop making them kind of thing. Right. But yeah, so I went and uh, threw a bunch of money in a pond and now we carry some more stuff and we can do that when we have more monies because I gave all my monies for those flippers. So, uh, uh, dude, you're down to 100. What I know, right? We are maxed out. I'm gonna give this rock the business. You've been flying to space without telling me. All right. So uh, next time, come back and watch us. Uh, we're gonna go meet a bum under a bridge. Are we Don't... gonna throw money at him? Uh, no. Actually, I think he gives us something because it's a Zelda game, and that's what happens. Mm, so, I was uh, hoping that next time we would teach our audience about universal basic income. Shout out, hashtag oh, Andrew yeah. Yang. I forgot about that. Uh, <laughs> you were like, oh, that's the, we should talk about that on the show. All right, record. Anyway, let's talk about other shit. <laughs> there you go. I brought it back full circle. All right. So, uh, yeah, come back and watch us do something that you should definitely not do in real life. What? what throw money at a bum? Go and meet a bum under a bridge and take what he gives oh, you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you're either going to leave with cool stories or hepatitis B, but all right, <laughs> take care. Uh, oh, don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe, uh, ring the bell to be notified, and whatever other feature that YouTube has added by this point or not, I don't know, we'll see.